to watch a movie on your iPod. Now, of course, you want to download it from your computer onto the iPod. Let's say you've done that already. Let's turn it on. Make sure we're at the home page, hit the menu. Hit a few times. All right, we're back. It says music, videos, photos. And now we know we are at the home screen. So let's use the, the wheel. Back, forth, back, forth, up, down. Choose videos, hit the middle button. Well, we have movies, Wally. -E. Rentals, we have none. TV shows, none. Music videos, none. So let's just go back up to movies. Hit the middle button, Wally. -E. Alright, just the beginning. You see that it's widescreen. We'll change that in a second. To increase the volume, just rotate it clockwise if you want to decrease volume. Counterclockwise. If you want to skip ahead, let's say you already saw the beginning, hit the middle button. Let's see if we can do this. Until you see, hopefully it'll register. It's going to have a diamond. You can maybe faintly see it. There's a diamond there. When you see the diamond, now you can move. Now it's not affecting the volume anymore, but it's affecting where you are in the movie. Now you can see the screen is moving forward and skipping ahead a little bit. So we're now 24, 26 minutes into the movie with an hour and nine minutes left. All right, so let's say we want to stop it here. We can just let it go and just hit the middle button. Now we have widescreen. You want to change the full screen. Hit menu to go back a step. Pause in the movie. Hit it again. Scroll down the settings. Fit the screen off. Just hit the middle button. Right there. It's on. Go back, go up to movies. Wally, -E. now this should be the same spot. And now it's full screen. So that's some of the functionality of using the iPod to watch movies.